I think this is very interesting because over the years, the most successful system was the Finnish system. They do not split the school up. They have a single school from the age of seven to 16. And the teachers have to be good enough to work with all those age groups. And it works very much on the basis that they don't start thinking of false intermediate object objectives. So they're constantly working on, and we've talked about it before, how do you get the child to be weaned of its dependence? Now you can only do that if all your teachers at every level are seeing that as being the objective. There's a phrase in England, the phrase is that primary teachers teach pupils, secondary teachers teach subjects. The truth is you need good subject material in primary years and you need a good understanding of primary principles when you're dealing with secondary pupils. I would then go on and say, as far as universities are concerned, they need even, perhaps an even better understanding of human maturation rates and how children learn than actually the primary school does. Because at the moment, so many pupils are coming out of force feeding in the secondary school that actually come to university and carry on with wanting to be force fed. And that's no education.